Okay, uh, just got the Minimax installed. Figured I'd make a quick little uh, tribute to Epic here and do my first video post for uh, FTE. Um, first thing I want to show you, which is just really hard to, to grasp from the internet, is the size of it. So this is the Minimax, and this is a credit card. So you will see it is about the size of a credit card. I think Gavin made a, a reference to that, and uh, he's exactly right. Um, so the other things I wanted to get into um, were the setup. Um, I'm running DPF on tuning. Um, it sounds no different than when I, 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 you know, before I tune the truck as it does right now. It, it's it's the same sound, which was important to me. Uh, so that's that's very cool. I wanted to go through some of the settings for gauges because this is kind of important. Um, you've got four different gauges you can monitor. Like for example, if I wanted to change from battery, let me get in here close. There are several different options here. You've got pyro 1, 2, speedometer, you've got boost, RPM, coolant, IPW, throttle, intake, barometer, battery, oil temp, ICP, trans temp, load, timing, EBP, estimated torque levels. So there's a lot of different options that you have for that. Um, you also can set your defueling levels, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've got mine to, you know, truck needs to be 140 degrees at the water temperature. You know, it, defuel at certain, you know, oil temperatures. You can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, EGTs, you monitor all that stuff. So obviously you're not, you know, keep feeding the dang thing until she blows up, which I like. That's some, some very uh, easily set up safety maneuvers uh, into the program. I'll post up the results. Uh, I did 0 to 60 run with the stock tune at uh, it was 8.2 seconds. Uh, you have uh, the performance, which is the highest level that I have with DPF on tuning. Um, 0 to 60 stock was 8.2 seconds. 0 to 60 performance was 6.5 seconds. Those are both two-wheel drive launches, not preheating the tires, nothing, just normal launches. Um, pretty good results, and I did take pictures of those. Um, run through the power settings. You can do this on the fly. You've got uh, performance, street, tow, and stock, which, depending on what you want to, uh, to run, uh, it, it's, I think it's 40, 80, and 120 uh, levels. Uh, 120 horsepower uh, is the performance. Last thing I want to say is, you know, I've run EFI live tuning on other trucks on my Chevy before this. Um, did some other tuning on, on my 7.3 and my 6 liter. Um, this is no different. If you've ever run a tuner, probably the biggest thing that I'll notice about H&S is they, they seem to be up there with EFI Live as far as um, what you can do to the transmission. Transmission tuning is seriously uh, improved on this, and, and I can't say enough about um, it's tuning better than I thought it could, uh, or, or it's shifting better than I thought it could shift, which I think is pretty important. Um, I know there's a few of you guys that are unhappy with the way your trucks are shifting, um, I've only got an hour in, into the seat so far, uh, so I'm not telling you to run out and, and get one of these things, but I'm telling you that it's something that you're going to want to ask me about later because uh, there's enough of an improvement where I think there's some definite possibilities there. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a good day.